Good afternoon, dear boys and girls. I am very glad to continue our distant education. You know that during this model we are talking about space. Today, at the lesson, we work with such interesting text and the video as Space Colonization – Future of Fantasy. During this lesson, we practice our listening and reading skills. So, as usual, we start our lesson with our new words. Listen and repeat. Don't forget to put down all these words into your dictionaries. Are you ready? Let's start. Afford. Afford. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Century. Century. Colonization. Colonization. Colony. Colony. Construct. Construct. Endless. Endless. Exploration. Exploration. Extract. Extract. Final frontier. Final frontier. Generate. Generate. Leap. Leap. Mankind. Mankind. Meteor. Meteor. Millennia. Millennia. Nuclear war. Nuclear war. Orbit. Orbit. Overcome. Overcome. Resources. Resources. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. Solar panel. Solar panel. Supplies. Supplies. Warm something up. Warm something up. Wipe out. Wipe out. Thank you for your derp and please try to learn all these phrases and our keywords by heart. So, and now, boys and girls, today we work with two pages, 100 and 101. Please open your books. And do you remember all the planets in our solar system? Okay, try to remember uh, the names of these planets. So, and now, please, boys and girls, read the title of the text and the quote. What could you uh, the problems of space colonization be? How could these problems be solved? What do you think of space colonization? Can it help us to solve the problem of overpopulation? So, let's listen. The problems of space colonization are the lack of technology and the lack of money. For example, it would take 1,000 years to travel to the nearest star system and it costs £6,000 to put half a kilo of something into near-Earth orbit. The solution may be to give 0.25% of the world's financial resources to fund space colonization. Do we agree with this opinion? Try to think. So, and what about our quotation? First of all, please listen to this quote. I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years unless we spread into space. Stephen Hawking, English physicist and cosmologist. Okay, try to think about this quote and for your home task, please prepare our strategy, elevator pitch. Do you remember this strategy? Sir, during 30 seconds you are going uh, to talk uh, according to this quotation and give your opinion using key words and don't forget about passive force. So, let's continue. So now, boys and girls, please, we are going towards uh, the video. You are going to work with the text, page 100 and 101. And after that, you will have a Google link where you should answer five questions and give two full answers according to this video and according to the text that you have in your students' books. Are you ready? Let's start. Space colonization. Future or fantasy? Since Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon on the 20th of July 1969 and declared one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, 
people have been dreaming about creating futuristic communities in space. Science fiction films such as Star Wars have filled our minds with images of spacecraft travelling at the speed of light to colonies on other planets in other solar systems. Until now, these ideas have just been fantasy. But now, leading scientists say that colonising space is the only answer for the future survival of mankind. But is space colonisation really possible? One solution would be for us to move to space stations orbiting near Earth. After all, astronauts have already been living on NASA's International Space Station continuously since 2000. The ISS gets its power from solar panels. It generates its own oxygen and even recycles water. But there's still a huge problem. All of its food and other supplies have to be sent from Earth. Humans would need to be self-sufficient to survive in space long term. So maybe colonising the Moon would be a better solution. The Moon has rich resources which could be used to construct a colony. Also, in 2009, scientists found water on the Moon, which could be used to extract oxygen for breathing. However, there is no atmosphere on the Moon, and it is boiling hot during 13 days of sunlight, and then freezing cold during 13 days of darkness. So any human colony there would have to live in a huge indoor biosphere. What about looking for Earth-like planets to colonise? Even if we found the perfect planet, we might not be able to get there at the moment. It would take over 700,000 years to get to Alpha Centauri, the closest star system. If we were able to travel just below the speed of light, we could reach the next star to Earth in just six years. So although there are many challenges to overcome, it may just be a matter of time before we are living in space. Okay, so boys and girls, thank you very much for your adverb. And now please pay attention to page 100. Please read this text once more. You have um, four or five minutes to do it. And after that, please this is this text please look at this one yes and uh, four or five minutes to do this task and after that please in our root uh, chart from your lesson plan uh, you have the link yes to this form your task is to choose the correct answer please you have five questions yes and um, five questions and number six number seven you put down your own opinion what do you think of space colonization colonization and can space colonization solve the problem of overpopulation don't forget about your home tile that you should prepare elevate pitch according to the quote at page 100 i wish you a good day thank you very much for your attention if you need my help you can contact with me goodbye